Here's a city. Its people face problems: personal destitution, high levels of domestic violence, absent teachers, lack of finance for entrepreneurs, overexploited local forest and fish stocks. This is Tawila. She's a leader in the city council, and people want her to solve these problems. They expect her to show political will to get things done. Tawila wants to help. She has motivation, skills, and power, but it's not enough, because even the most powerful leaders can rarely fix complex problems by themselves. In the Philippines, for example, President Aquino wanted to expand healthcare by raising taxes on tobacco and alcohol, but opponents stole the reform bill. To get it passed, he needed the support of a coalition of diverse people and organizations, from activists and health experts to tobacco and beer companies. This diverse group did not always agree and had to negotiate and compromise. Political will to get things done doesn't come from any one individual; it comes from leaders and others working together where they can. Tuwila knows the power of coalitions, so over time she builds one. Together, she and her allies boost their skills and influence. So, problem solved? Not yet. Some problems are based on widely held ideas that are hard to change. Ideas about gender roles, for example. To tackle such problems, Tuwila's group finds they need to persuade people to change their ideas, and sometimes they need to work with the ideas people already have. When the coalition in Jordan called for a law to protect women from domestic violence, they won the support to get the law passed by presenting it as protecting the family. They made progress on defending women's rights in a conservative culture by focusing on a more popular idea. Leadership is not just about individuals; it happens at three levels: individual, collective, and societal. Leadership requires individuals with the motivation and opportunity to push for change. But it also needs people to work together in formal or informal coalitions, and to tackle problems effectively, these coalitions often need to contest ideas that support a society's rules. So, what can those wishing to support leaders like Tuwila and her coalition do? Think about and support leaders' values and motivation. Create space for coalitions to form and to work with their politics. Support local actors without undermining their legitimacy. Remember that politics is not the obstacle; it is the way change happens. When you next hear a call for more political will to solve complex social problems, think about the process of leadership behind it. Why not get involved?